this is a tutorial on the smart fill tool smart fill tool is in the toolbox and it's in this uh, option here that's the smart fill okay so what's the concept of smart fill I'm going to show you to demonstrate the smart fill if I'm going to make a the zero line here from here to here I'm creating a line okay so I use my zero tool okay and then I'm going to curve this one by choosing the outline and then going to shape tool uh, click on the outline and I'm going to my convert line to curve and I'm going to make it a curve line okay then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply smart fill okay uh, I click on smart fill and on top of the property bar here it says here the fill option specify so I can change that color let's say I'm gonna make it green okay and then I click here and there you go so smart fill fills up the an object as long as it's a close object with a fill color that's why we chose the green fill color now I can delete this or move it around okay, let's say I'm going to move it down here and I'm going to go back to my smart fill tool click and then click here again okay. now if I want to stylize this artwork I'm gonna make it like that again and I'm gonna curve it so click and then I'm going to rotate it just a little bit and then I'm going to do a smart fill again click okay so I click again one more click and if this one shows up it means to say you can rotate it but I'm going to click on the rotation uh, point going to this side here and then I'm going to rotate it again I'm going to go to my smart tool again click and then click that again and then I'm going to delete this line now right now I have one two three four objects that I can play around with the with the effects I mean the fill effects say one is blue or let's say I can use also the uh, the interactive fill okay so I'll start from there and then let's say I'm going to click here and I'm going to put some white okay and then dark blue and I can move the slider and I can also click the second uh, object with a smart fill tool and then I click on interactive tool again I mean the interactive fill yeah and then I'm going to I can now customize my look and then maybe in here I'll put some blue and in the center I'll make put some white okay. and then the last one too I can interactive fill click here and drag and I can also make this blue and this one is darker blue and in the center I can add another one and then I can just select all of these three objects and remove the fill. The command. Now I can also make this maybe solid blue. Remove the outline. So see how easy I did it with the smart, uh, the smart fill tool. Okay, another use for smart fill tool is making collages we're going to work on these four images here and we're going to make a collage okay so first what we're going to do is we're going to make lines straight lines first and then apply smart fill so to create lines i go to f5 or my freehand tool now i click on uh maybe somewhere here and then uh, in order to make it a straight line you hold on control shift and it will restrict to a straight line and click 
I got one line there and I'm going to make two more lines. Click on my freehand. I will make it click and, and hold on shift control. Make a straight line and then one more here and there. And I'm just going to move this one there. Okay, so now I've got intersecting lines and what I will do is I'm going to click on my smart fill tool and apply the smart fill. Apply there, here, and then I'm going to delete the lines first, these two lines. Delete that and delete this one. And then I'm going to make a smart fill. Apply smart fill there and over here. Okay. So I'm going to delete this one. Okay. So I have now four um, basic shapes. Control Z to undo. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm going to power clip this one, maybe this one here, to this shape here. Okay. So I click on the photo. It doesn't matter if it's centered or not because we can fix that later. So as long as it intersects. So I click on the photo, go to effects, power clip, place inside the container, and my container is this one here. Okay. Now I go to effects, power clip, uh, edit contents, and see that blue square there, uh, rectangle? That was the object. So I'm going to uh, hit F4 to view the whole thing, and I'm just going to center it, and that looks good, and click on finish editing object. Okay, so I'm going to do the this one. It's going to enlarge it a little bit, and then go to effects. Same thing, power clip, place into the container. Container is this one, and I go to effects, power clip, edit contents, and that looks good. So I just click on finish edit, and then this one. I'm going to go to effects, power clip, place inside the container, and I choose this one. And the last one is this one. I do all this already. And effects, power clip, place it inside a container, and click on that one. Okay, so that was a very quick collage. And if you don't want the outline, just select everything and remove the outline. And maybe I'll just group this one. Control G to group. And then maybe I'll put it in here. I'll put it to back of the page, order to back of page. And I can make it on the stretch. And there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna stretch that. And I just made a collage using bookmarker.